Okay, and welcome back students who are taking math for business and finance and math applications. And we're doing the chapter 8 drill problems, the odd number problems. So let's pick up where we left off. Let me get down to that slide. There we go. Okay, so we have here our cost is 1510 and our selling price is 22. We want to know what our dollar markup is and the percent markup on the cost. So if I look at it here, you know, this is $22 and my cost is $15.10. So if I want to know what my dollar markup is, it's simply just subtract one from the other. And that gives me $6.90. Okay. Now, before I go any further, notice I drew this out here. And, you know, me, you know, that's just my visual representation. Having done it so many times, I probably would not have done that. I would have just done the math over here, okay? But realize that you don't have to do that all the time. It's, uh, you only do it when you need to understand what you're doing, okay? And now we're looking for the percent markup on cost. And this goes back to, you know, our chapter in the textbook on percentages where, um, if I have, if I know my dollar amount here and I want to know what the percent markup on the cost is, I would, I divide by, uh, the cost and that actually ends up being 45.7%. Okay. And if I wanted to know the percent markup on the selling price, I would have just divided the 6.90 by the $22. Okay. Again, that's just that information from that previous chapter to help you solve this. You know, everything that we've been doing is building one upon the other. So um, if you struggled with things in the past and you didn't uh, fill in those gaps, you got to go back and, and revisit them. Okay. Um, 8-7. It says here, assume markups and problems 8-7 to 8-12 are based upon the selling price. So the markups are on the selling price find the dollar markup and the cost okay so if my I have my selling price is equal to my cost plus my markup that's the formula and if I know my selling price is one thousand dollars and I need I don't know what the cost is but I have I'm going to add in the markup and I know that my markup even though I don't have a dollar amount um, I have a percentage, so I have 45% of the selling price. Okay. And the selling price is $1,000. So I can replace the selling price with the $1,000. So that makes, now I can, you know, since I want to find out what my cost is, I have 1,000 is equal to C plus 45% of 1,000 is $450, which also happens to be our dollar markup. Okay. And then, of course, uh, I isolate the C. Okay. Remember, moving the 450 across the equal sign changes the sign from a positive to a negative. And that means my cost when I do the math is $550. And to proof it out, 1,000 less the 550 gives me my 450 for my markup. And if you need to visually see it, here's 1,000. Here is my cost of 550. And this here is the markup of 450. You don't have to always be doing this. I personally wouldn't have done this, uh, uh, drawn out the diagram in this, this particular one. Okay, um, this would have been just good enough for me, but in case you happen to need it, always, you know, diagram it out if you have to. Okay, all right, eight, nine, let's see, um, we don't know the selling price of a complete set of pots and pans at Walmart. I don't know what that is. We have 40% of the selling price. And our actual cost is 66.50. So if I have the sale price is equal to cost plus the markup, right? so I have uh, S is equal to the cost of 66.50 plus 
plus the markup, which is 40% S. And now we want to um, uh, put all of the variables um, on one side of the equal sign and all of the constants on the other. So I have S minus 40% S. And again, when I move the uh, positive 40% S across the equal sign, you know, I change the sign to a negative, and that's going to equal 6650. And uh, 1S minus 0.4S, right? The 40% in digital form is 0 0.4. So 1S minus 0.4S is 0.6S is equal to 6650. So I'm going to rewrite that up here since I've run out of space. 0.6s is equal to 6650. Right? In order to isolate the s, we divide both sides by 0 0.6. That allows us to cancel, cancel out the, the 0 0.6 and leaves us with s is equal to um, 110. 83. Okay, that's the selling price of the pots and pans. Okay, and again, if you diagram it out, this is 110.83. Okay, and if our cost is 66.50, okay, the difference, so 110.83 minus 66.50 is 40, is 44.33 right there is our cost. Okay, I'm sorry. Is our um, is our markup? And if you take the 110.83, right, and you multiply it by 40%, you should get 44.33. That would be your proof. All right, 11. Um, this is very similar to 8-7, okay? So we have, um, and we're looking for a dollar markup, which is just the difference between these two. So I have my $49 less $14.80, and that gives me uh, $34.20. And in 8.7, we took the 690 and divided it by the cost, which was 1510. But in this one here, we're looking for the uh, percent markup on the selling price. So we have 3420, and we're dividing it by the 49 because it's based upon the selling price, and that's going to give us 69.8 percent. Okay, relatively easy. All right, by conversion of the markup formula, solve the following. Let's see here. All right, so, okay, so we know the percent markup on the cost is 12.4%, but we're being asked for the percent markup on the selling price. And so when we're looking at it, Okay, this is 100%, and um, this is 12.4% uh, because it's the mark, uh, percent markup on the cost. Okay, so in order to solve this, we're going to take the uh, in decimal form 0 0.124. And because that's our percent markup on the cost, and we want to know what that percent markup is going to be on the selling price. So on the selling price, it would be 1 plus the 0 0.124. So um, when we do that math, we're dividing 0 0.124 by 1.124, and that's going to give us 11%. Um, okay, so... So to understand this, our markup is 12.4%. Um, 
and remember that we're marking it up um, our percent markup is on the selling price okay um, our selling price is one per 100 percent right and we're dividing by um, the 100 percent plus the 12.4 percent um, because that's going to give us a lower amount than 100%. If we multiplied by 1. Point, uh, uh, 100 plus 12%, that's going to give us a greater amount, and obviously it can't be greater than 100%. So we take, we're, since we're looking for the percent, we take our base number here of 12.4%, uh, and since it's on the selling price, the selling price is 100% plus whatever that percentage is. Okay, and since we're dividing, that's going to give us that uh, lower amount so that we stay within the 100%. If I um, multiplied by uh, that amount, it wouldn't come out correctly. Okay. All right. Let's see here. All right. So I'm at 11 minutes and I'm going to stop right now and then come back uh, uh, to this, uh, to these problems. All right. See you in the next video.